The Meg 2, The Trench. So this, going into this movie, I, uh, I know I'm a week late to reviewing this movie, but A, I was focused on Ninja Turtles, and B, I honestly uh, do not watch movies after my shifts at work. I mean, this is before I work in a theater. I used to do that all the time so I could have reviews as soon as possible. Now I just, I don't really care. I'm going to go on my day off and watch the movie and try to do that. I feel like, you know, I need to stop with being the first to watch movies. Though some of these movies I do really have to go watch right away. It's like me and Mayhem and stuff. But I was like to watch watching this movie and that did allow me to hear the reception of this movie. So first of all, they did not do a press screening for this movie. That's not a good sign because that usually means that they're trying to hold promotion of this movie because the movie isn't very good. We'll get into that. Um, also, the first one, I didn't like that much. I did a review for it like a couple months back. So, you know, you can check out that review. I uh, did not sing the movie's praises. It was pretty mediocre. It was fun enough shark movie, I guess. But, you know, I didn't have a lot to say about it. It was a very boring review to record, honestly, but I still want to record it so you guys have my thoughts. Um, this movie, you know, so I was hearing that, and then it's just like, yeah, there was a lot of negativity going into this movie. But I was trying to push it aside and be like, well, if it's just a dumb, entertaining shark movie, fine. I'm okay with that, you know? Um, this movie was terrible. I uh, do not believe the trailers for this movie and what I mean by that is mild spoiler but you will be better off if you know this going into the movie because you might actually enjoy it more um the sharks and all that mayhem that you see in the trailers that's the last 30 to 20 minutes of this movie if that um of the sharks just going through and they see monsters and everybody going Rah! and you know that is awesome I mean, it's not as gruesome as Carnage filled as I wanted it to be, but at the end of the day, you know, it is PG-13, so they're never going to go as far as I want them to. But still, I, you know, I was having fun with that part of the movie. What I got really annoyed about with this movie was, again, that was the last 20 minutes of the movie. So throughout most of this movie, I'm sitting here bored as shit with the most boring characters in sequences that they're trying to make fun, but they're boring. So, like, they go into water in one scene, and they're in these subs or whatever, whatever you want to call them. The scene is too dark. I can't see what's happening, so I'm bored throughout that. Um, the way this movie starts off is utterly hilarious. So you get that opening shot you see in the trailer where the lizard walks up, and there's a dead dinosaur body uh, on the island, and then all of a sudden this big megalodon comes out and starts eating it, right? And you're like... All right, I'm on board. Then it cuts to Jason Statham on this boat and it's playing Queens Under Pressure. And he like slices open this big uh, like, you know, ship container thing to peek out and you find out he's on a boat in the ocean. It just makes no sense. And then, he, and then it leads to this action scene that I couldn't even tell you what his goal was, who he was fighting with, what was happening, but he was fighting people and he's being Jason Statham. Just shit like that makes this movie just worthless, you know, where you're just sitting here going like, really? This, that, you know? The, the reality is, guys, when it comes to Godzilla movies, when it comes to um, shark movies, things like that, I don't need smart writing, smart characters. But A, this movie makes two mistakes. It doesn't have enough of the shit that people actually want to watch, right? Which is the sharks going crazy, eating people, and then, you know, our fun characters making their one-liners, trying to stop the sharks, you know? But then also, there, there's even though there's people who, like, I don't care, could be, you know, about the story or characters, there does come a point where movies become so dumb that even though the goal is to entertain you, it's it's no longer entertaining because they're so dumb. Like I felt this way about um about several of the Godzilla films, like Godzilla ninety eight. You know, I like Godzilla ninety eight for what it is. I do have fun with that movie, but I, you know, I kind of feel that way about some other movies like that. And 
you just it, it does become a point where it's so stupid and it's and it's not even like laughably bad it's just bad and it's frustrating you and you're just like you know and this felt like a transformers movie to me where they literally waited the whole movie to show you what you want to watch they gave you these boring characters and relationships you don't give a shit about and then when you do get to all the stuff that you want, you're already bored and you've lost interest. You know, that's the, I felt the same way watching this movie. I felt watching Transformers Age of Extinction where I just, I sat there and I waited and I waited and I waited for the Transformers to come in. And when they finally did, I was so bored, I could care less. Now this movie, thank God, is shorter than that movie, but it still feels very long. This movie could have been about an hour, 25 minutes and uh, would have been better. It's about an hour 46 right now. Uh, it could have been 20 minutes shorter. would have been a better movie. Just, I don't understand what happened with this movie. Uh, but that being said, it's doing really good, apparently. Not here in the States. Because Barbie and Mutant Mayhem kind of kicked his ass a little bit. But still did pretty good for what, for what it is. But overseas is doing great, which is kind of what I predicted I am a little shocked that it already made a hundred million though overseas which means I'll probably get another one of these movies and yeah I'll probably review that too but uh yeah one out of ten this movie's not worth your time there's no excuse for movies like this being as bad as they are because they know what the audience came for and they purposely don't deliver that